You don't hear much about this anymore because they've been sued out of existence. Where, where, where Speaking of which, they may know what happened to uh, my pillow guy. Is he still out there? He's been, I think, decreasing in public appearances. But I also think he's been. I'll, I'll double check this, but I think he's been blackballed by Fox. Like they don't. Bring oh, him, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they don't. They don't bring him on. Yeah. The question but is, is also he still Newsmax, in the, Newsmax and yeah. maybe now OIN. Well, they're done. Yeah, so right. that's the thing. He, he's 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 getting myloed a little bit. This <laughs> is the, this is the thing. <laughs> no one talks about the censorship that is taking place from Mike Lynn. This is the genuine intellectual dark web. He's the censored. Uh, he is the censored. Uh, but here is um, Representative Zoe Lofgren during the January 6th uh, committee hearing with former Trump lawyer Alex Cannon. Cannon has asked if anyone else besides Mark Meadows followed up with him regarding investigating the Dominion voting machines for evidence of fraud. Now, we all know what happened. The, the ballots were sent to a server in Germany, and in Germany it was tweaked. Uh, and then it was, uh, you know, uh, acid washed and uh, came Chavez. back and uh, Hugo Chavez was out there doing it. And uh, and uh, back from the dead. Of course. Well, I mean, and then bleach bit got the, involved, bleach bit. And then it came back and then the, the, the things were changed. Uh, we should also say, I think it came out in the hearings, too, that Mark Meadows was burning, uh, burning, burning uh, like documents after uh, some of these folks visited his office. Hmm. Oh. He, he was a little, a little uh, a, a more uh, tidy than Trump, who apparently just was can, shoving them in the toilet. Can you imagine if like Hillary Clinton burned documents? <laughs> like, I mean, she had a server. It would, she yeah. acid washed servers. Okay, so hmm, I don't know. All right, let's uh, listen to this. President Trump's own vice president and his top advisors also knew that there wasn't evidence to support the claims that the president was making. Anyone else other than Mr. Meadows who asked you about the status outside of your legal group, you know, Mr. Morgan and, and the others you mentioned, anyone else who asked you the status of what you were finding in your assessment of it? Uh, yes, sir. Who's that? Peter Navarro. When did you talk to Mr. Navarro? Mm, Mid-November. Around the same time as uh, Mr. Meadows? Yes, yeah, sir. And tell me about that conversation. Um, I recall him asking me questions about Dominion and maybe some other categories of allegations of voter fraud. And I remember telling him that I didn't believe the Dominion allegations because I thought the hand recount in Georgia would, would resolve any issues with a technology problem and with Dominion or Dominion flipping votes. And I, I mentioned at that time that the CISA, Chris Krebs, had recently released a report saying that the election was secure. And I believe Mr. Navarro accused me of being an agent of the deep state working with Chris Krebs against the president. Yep. Of course. That's why I seem so nervous. It's not me. You remember that uh, Martin Short thing? Like, it's not me. I don't know why he's saying it's me. It's, 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 it's him. It's not me. I'm not, possibly that. I'm not that person. Deep state. <laughs> you know, I, I'm just reminded of Alex Perrine's article from like half a decade ago where it is about how like basically republicans are high on their own supply and you have a mix of complete cynics and complete lunatics and the, the uh lunatics have achieved sort of a critical mass oh, of course definitely <laughs> and it's hard it's it's impossible to know that navarro thing when he uses like a deep state thing i don't think he actually believes it it's just like a a way of like Oh, I think he. Yeah, I think well, Navarro right. believes it. But it's like it's like a motivated belief, right? Like it, it seems it seems like they're doing make believe and then like tricking themselves or something. Maybe I don't. I I you you almost can't get into the mind of someone that deluded, but you can imagine what this guy did when he uh, came home from work that day and was just like, "You're you're not going to believe this." Like everyone around the president is insane, and so isn't the president. <sighs> Like, the, my God, I still need this job. Yeah, though. right. This guy thought this was like a cushy job being the attorney. And he's like, I'm actually being accused of being like a, a, a sleeper cell agent. They, <laughs> they wait until like there's a breaking point in terms of what they can deal with and insanity and cruelty. And then eventually they'll pretend it's like some sort of moral 
stand. Really nuts.